guys and welcome to the bathing vlog. I'm Crystal Jackson um, and today I'm in the shower because I'm going to be talking about what I actually use to bathe my body. Um, today though we are going to be reviewing all the different types of materials to use to wash your body and what I prefer and I want to know what you guys prefer. Um, so to start with, do you guys wash with just straight the soap and just put it on like that? I think that's pretty nasty. <laughs> um, especially if you like share the bathroom with other people and share the soap. Literally when the soap is sitting there, ew, it like has hair on it, it has like dirt on it. That's just pretty gross guys. So you should never wash directly with the soap on your body. That's just, especially again, if you're sharing it. Um, these things, you know, it's just really more for the back or for the bottom of the feet. To me, I don't know, it's just, it's a skin brush, but it feels a little horse-ish, you know? So maybe you could use this for like your back and your feet, but I don't know about your whole body. Um, also, of course, for the longest time, I was like a big loofah girl. You have to have your loofahs so cute and pink. Um, I heard this is actually terrible. So loofahs, the fact that they're so intricate and like balled up like that, um, a lot of the bacteria actually stays in there and it goes inside the little nooks and crannies of a loofah. So they say you should use a loofah for no more than 60 days. However, the more I read, the more bacteria it carries. So eh, those are out. Um, also a washcloth, guys. So I used to be big on washcloths, especially for my face. I didn't like using loofahs on my face and you really shouldn't use any type of hard exfoliant on your face. I would just keep that to the exfoliating face washes. So the washcloths though, especially if you have them hanging in the bathroom, remember your bathroom is like full of bacteria guys. So you're gonna have like poop spray and like spit and all that stuff, bacteria in the bathroom getting on your washcloth. They say you should wash it every other day. The best way to do it is actually like air dry it or again like wash it every day. But washcloths, especially when you have something wet just hanging, um, it can carry a lot of bacteria. So as I stated, I do want to support for August black owned businesses because it is black business month. But yeah, it's called the love scrub. So, you know, I didn't even bring the box in here. But yeah, the love scrub, uh, it is $18. All right, girl. But you know, I get your coins. I want to support. Um, but yeah, in the country of Ghana, they use this thing called SOPA. So it's literally like a piece of cut cloth like this. Um, this it's awesome because of how long it is. That's what I really like. You know, literally you can like put it around and get between the crack and like really get in there. Um, but yeah, your back, you can wash it like that. It's pretty simple, it's weird. You don't just do it like this. What you normally do, you actually fold it like this. I like to fold it one more time and then like two times like this. Again, you can really fold it how you want. Um, and then you just put your soap on it and you literally wash and scrub your body. So it's like a natural exfoliant. The only thing they do recommend on the box, which is true, don't use it if you have a bunch of cuts or don't use it, which I don't know why I have a bunch of cuts on your body girl you need to talk to somebody <laughs> um but no joking about that but yeah so and not unless you have like psoriasis or like really sensitive skin i wouldn't use this because it does really exfoliate however i do like it i like the length of it um i like the fact that when i rinse it compared to the loofah oh my god it'd be like holding the the shower in or the shower head inside of the loofah trying to get all the soap out because again it's so balled up this literally one rinse and it's done and it's ready to go so it lathers up pretty well. I didn't put a lot of soap in it right now. But um, yeah, you just literally wash your whole body. It scrubs all the dead skin away and it's great. So kudos to her, I recommend it. You know, again, it gets just as soapy um, and literally rinse it and it's like two seconds. And that's it. And you literally just wring it out and hang it up guys. So shout out to Carolyn for the love scrub. This is what I've been using now. Um, let me know what you guys use. Are you still like, nah, I'm just gonna stick to my washcloth. I'm gonna stick to my loofahs. If so, more power to you. However, make sure you're washing them guys and make sure you're not using them for more than, especially washcloths. You need to be washing your washcloths every week at the latest, if not every couple days. And again, the loofah is good for up to 60 days. However, it's really not good to use a loofah. These things just carry a lot of bacteria. Um, some dermatologists actually just, again, recommend washing with your hands. I don't know about that. Uh, um, but again, your choice. So let me know what you guys use. Thanks for tuning into the bathing vlog. See you next week.